Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to prepare for the free agency promo. Now, if you guys don't already know the free agency promo, it's in the name, NFL Free Agency, guys. So, in real life, the free agency period is pretty much a period of time where players who have expiring contracts or contracts that just well, did expire are able to go ahead and potentially sign with a new team pending, you know, restrictions, Sanchez, what their contract entailed, you know, and all that other stuff, right, depending on the sport. But for the NFL sake, I believe it's March 17th, the free agency window does open, so we will start seeing players go to new teams. Some play, a lot, in the NFL, a lot of times players just resign with the same team. Like, bigger name players don't always leave that often. It's not like the NBA, you know, like, I feel like in the NFL, a lot less movement really happens. Uh, you know, they build through draft, occasionally a big trade, but it's very rare, but for the most part, for agency, you probably won't see too much movement. You know, a few big names like Tom Brady to the Buccaneers happens every so often, Gronk to the Buccaneers. But, you know, not every time that stuff happens. Now, we did just see J.J. Watt get traded to the Cardinals, so I don't know if he'll fall under the um, free agency uh, moniker now. I think he'll be more, he'll probably be in a movers, a movers promo if we get one of those. But for inch is going to be fun, guys. Last year did drop on March 18, so we're we're officially nine days away from the potential drop of the free agency promo. So it's time to start focusing on how to prepare, right? And just in general. So before we get into today's video, guys, super important that you like the video and comment down below, guys. Always helps out the channel. And of course, if you haven't already, always comment down below. Let me know down below, guys. Who are you hoping to see in the free agency promo? Let me know down below so we can get an idea of what you guys are kind of expecting. And then, yeah, of course, if you guys do need coins, head on over to Mutt Coin Bank down below and always use code Poodle for 5% off your order. So let's keep moving along, guys. Nothing out of these packs, of course. Always got to test them out. I always have this hope that I'll pull an LTD out of there. I think I've seen it on Twitter before. It, it could be fake. But I have seen something similar, so I do get excited at certain times when I do see uh, those packs. But, guys, free agency promo, what is it going to entail? I've told you guys a few times before, free agency promo is going to bring about some 98 overall players. So some powered up 99s more than likely, right? So here's the thing. The first tip I have for a lot of you guys, it's time to start doing team skimming which i always tell you guys i don't know if I, I don't know if i created that word it's just it's like a word that logically makes sense for me team skimming time to start skimming down some players in your team now this is disregard from the free agency promo this is just in general guys we're getting lots of new players i think it's time you guys start cutting out some of those 94 95 and 96 overall players from your team because as we move on day to day the price will keep going down so let's say right you have justin jefferson he's on your team he's pretty decent you know he's, he's not the greatest but he's pretty decent but you know that with the free agency promo coming and more Ultimate Legends, like pretty soon, guys, a 94 speed wide receiver is not going to cut it. It really doesn't already. You're going to get upgraded, right? And as we get upgraded, see, right now, Justin Jefferson goes for 200K. He's not going to go for 200K if we get a few more wide receivers or we get to the 99 as a, you know, a typical power up, right? These cards are going to be dying now. Because see, this card can only get power up to 97 and maybe come up to 98. 97 to 98 can get up to 99, right? So that's important for, uh, you know, most people, especially people who want end game cards. So I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and start skimming off some players. So like Rich Gannon still goes to 230K. Mark Clayton goes to 200K. Start selling these guys off for decent profit. Nick Chubb, 250. Start getting rid of some guys. Not to mention, we probably aren't too far from a series update again. I feel like series updates are coming left and right. Um, potentially, you know, the final one more than likely. Now, Nick Chubb, Trey Vincent, all these guys still hold some decent value. Uh, Khalil Mack, you know, Kevin Maway, Dak Prescott. Let's see. Jerome Baker, Jermichael Finley, all these guys are kind of outdated at this point. Like, you know, they're not going to be meta cards, Bryce Callahan, and they have decent prices. I would recommend selling them. Like I said, once free agency comes, that's going to probably introduce the first wave of like promo, not Ultimate Legend, promo 98s into the game that can be powered up 99s, which, and again, the reason we haven't seen a big drop in price yet from the market is of course because Ultimate Legend, we only got three of them, right? We got three and that was it. And then just two positions, right? There were defensive line, I believe, uh, one offensive line, one defensive line. Once we start seeing some big name wide receivers like a Randy Moss or a Deion Sanders or a Lawrence Taylor, some big name ultimate legends come out of there. And then for agency prom, we see some big names come out of there, 98. Eventually, we're going to get so populated that people are going to be focusing on 98s, right? Because that's just the nature of the game. The 90, people want to make their overall better, and 96 overalls are never going to get to that 99 threshold. They're going to have to start picking up players that are at least 97 to keep the overall rating high, you know, keep, keep the, uh, the, the minimum going up, right? So, if you guys want to start team skimming i highly recommend you do that for the free agency promo because once that does drop guys that should introduce at least three to four 98 overall players potentially maybe less maybe more um but at least a few and by that point also we'll probably have another week and a half maybe two weeks worth of ultimate legends that are 98s to 99s and then on top of that guys you may even have some more stuff coming out maybe some mud hero ltds 
few more as well. So guys, once we have at least five to, I say anywhere between like seven to eight to 15 to 20, 98 overalls that can be powder for 99s. That's it. The 96, 95, 94, potentially even 97 mark is going to start dying down. So again, you don't want to be left without coins. I always have been a big proponent, proponent of team skimming specifically because a lot of people hold on to cards until it's too late, right? So like, let's say right now, Jesse Bates, he's 250K. You kind of like him, right? But you can get 250 for him. People will wait one more week to free agency and be like, oh, the Super Saves came out. Sean Taylor, Ultimate Legend came out. Like right around then, I'm gonna get him. Go to sell the Jesse Bates. Wow, ooh, Jesse Bates only goes for 130 now. I just lost 120K plus the reduction. And that's always been a big deal to me, like, you know, losing that reduction on top of the value already lost. So definitely go ahead. And if you see a few guys in your team and you know, you know when you see your team like, okay, this 94 overall defensive tackle is outdated. Let's see what value I can get back in the market for him. This, you know, this one wide receiver, my third wide receiver, which is Justin Jefferson. I really don't use him in game too much, but he has a decent value. Let me sell him and hold those coins for the next wide receiver. Because remember, a 98 overall wide receiver that's not an LTD probably only goes for around 350K. You sell this for 230, you get back 210, you throw an additional 130 in there, 140, and you get the new wide receiver, right? You let, you let, you let his value drop to around 130, 150. And now you need an additional 200 plus K to get him. And now it's like a whole other card again, right? It's different between upgrading and buying an entirely new card. When you want to upgrade your wide receiver to the next one, 100K is like, okay, that's like, an, that's like an upgrade fee, right? But if you want to sell and have to spend another 200K, you press reduction, everything, you're practically buying, you've pretty much lost the card, right? Like a whole other card you bought. Just something important to me. Next, guys, remember as well the 98 market will start coming down pretty soon as we do get more right now they're rare right like people want these 98s you need these 98s as we do get a few more 98s in the game and like that becomes more of the norm and even some 99s in the near future as you start getting that guys these cards will start to drop to regular price like this card right here will be like 200k 250k um tom brady will come down to around you know maybe a little bit but you know he was a super bowl card darius lays an ltd but again these 98s over here like javon curson all these cards will start to come down a lot more as the market drops as a whole so if you guys are holding on to like javon curse or any of these guys up here you could probably sell them for 800k and it'll probably be only like 500k in like a week or two as soon as like i said right now it's rare it's like if a hundred thousand people want to have the best team in the game and madden drops three players that can help you do that but only three of them and you know limited supply you know high high demand limited supply price are gonna be high once they drop another 20 of them people some people get ricky jackson some people get this guy some people get that guy before you know it there's just a lot of supply and the demand matches out and the prices come down. It's going to be how, you know, that's how, that's how life works. But that pretty much wraps up that. That was the biggest advice I had for agency as well as guys. If you want to have an idea of who's coming out, you know, go on NFL, you know, .com, look at some contracts or whatever, or just type in again, who are the upcoming free agents in the NFL? Look at their names. You'll have an idea. Like we saw like Von Miller. We saw a few guys like, okay, that guy could possibly be one. Allen Robinson, that guy could possibly be one. That guy's going to be one. Uh, this guy, you know, like Dak just re-signed. He probably, he may not be one, but they might may have made him a master already. You never know, because that stuff happens too, right? They make them, um, they make them masters, but then you know we find out their contract situation right as the promo's coming out. So we end up st sticking with the player. So you never know. Well, it remains to be seen, but definitely fun. Gonna be a fun promo coming out in probably around nine days. So definitely stay tuned for that. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, if you guys are new to the channel, you have like and subscribe and turn on that noti bell. And if you guys need coins for anything, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle for five percent off your order. Take advantage of the coin, guys. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.